guys, Mira here, and this video is actually my third video to my Arduino Mobot series. So if you could recall in my last video or my second video, what we did was we assembled this Mobot. As you can see there. So what we'll be doing now is that I'll be teaching you how to install your Arduino IDE so that you will be able to upload your programs and codes into your Arduino board here in our Mobot. Or if you're just a beginner to Arduino and don't have the Mobot, you can upload to your Arduino board. This tutorial will still be applicable to you either way and will also help you through the installation process and uploading. So with that, let's get started. First, we download the software from the Arduino website. We open our internet browser and then type in the URL arduino.cc in the address bar. The website will open and then you click on software and go to downloads. In the software page, in the download the Arduino IDE section, you can either choose or click Windows app requires Windows 8.1 or 10, or Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. My operating system is actually Windows 10. However, for a general guide, let's choose the Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. This works for all Windows OS from 7 and up. That includes Windows 10. So there, it then brings us to the donate section. But for our case, Let's just proceed downloading the software. So click the Just Download. This will download the software and will show the file name of the download file, which in our case is Arduino underscore 1.8.13 Windows.exe. It takes a few minutes to download, so just wait for it to complete. After downloading, run or click the download file and notice that a flash screen will show up and will verify the Arduino setup or license agreement. You click I agree. In most cases, just follow the instructions and agree to all questions prompted upon you. And finally, click install. Installation begins. Just wait for a few moments and a little later, it will ask you to install the device software, usually called the driver, for the serial COM port, which is the Adafruit Industries LLC ports as shown. Click Install. And then, another device software for the Arduino USB driver. Click Install as well. Just agree to install for all other necessary device software installations until it is completed and then click close. Let's run the Arduino IDE. Click the Windows button and select or click Arduino. There, Arduino IDE starts running, showing its splash screen. Arduino opens to the default sketch file containing the setup and loop functions that every sketch program should have. There, you can now start writing code in these functions, but we will not do that yet. Instead, we will further verify if our installation is well set for uploading a program to the Arduino development board. This step is very important. Some actually have problems with uploading their programs into an Arduino board because they missed to do this step. Okay, so click Tools and then let's see the board first. There, it lists down all the boards that you can possibly use for the software. And since I'm using an Arduino Uno board, I will select Arduino Uno. It is actually the default board. Now, notice the port option below the board. It is disabled. Take note that I have my Arduino Uno board physically attached to the USB port of my laptop all along. So this is it and it means that I do not have a port yet. This refers to the serial communication port or the COM port where we attach our Arduino board to our computer for uploading programs. Of course, 
most modern computers don't have a COM port anymore because serial COM port was replaced by a USB port. What we have is a device software or device driver that creates a virtual COM port out of our USB port and it has to be installed properly. So, let's go to the device manager or to the control panel. Let me just search for the control panel. There, I might have opened device manager earlier, so there it is shown. Let's choose or click it. The device manager shows the devices available in your computer. Those devices that have no proper driver installed or those that can't be recognized by Windows OS can be found here. So there, the USB 2.0 serial listed in the other devices is not properly installed. Notice the icon, it has a warning sign. So right click on it and choose Update Driver. In the Update Drivers dialog box, choose or click Search Automatically for updated driver software. This way, you will be spared of finding an appropriate driver for it and let Windows OS to search it for you. All you need to do then is wait. Windows will search for the driver online. It may take time, but when it finds it, it will automatically install it. Okay, so Windows has successfully updated the driver. It's the USB serial CH340 device. This is the hardware that sits on our Arduino board and communicates with the laptop via the USB port. So now, let me close this dialog box. We now have the device USB serial CH340 creating the virtual COM port, assigned as COM port number 3 or COM3. If you can't upload a program to your Arduino board, Go to the device manager and see if what COM port number is assigned to your board so that you can choose it in the Arduino IDE port accordingly. Let's close the device manager and we go back to the Arduino IDE. Now, we go to Tools and to Port. Notice that the Port option is now enabled and it now shows the newly created COM3 in its list of serial ports. We click COM3 to become the current COM port we use. So there at the bottom right, COM3 is shown to indicate the port that we are currently using. So now, let's test if we can upload a program to the Arduino board. What is great about Arduino IDE is that it comes with many example programs that you can try immediately. You don't need to start from scratch. Let's try to blink the onboard or built-in LED of my Arduino Uno. We go to File, then Examples, and then 01 Basics, and you click the Example Blink Program. The Blink Program is then opened in a separate Arduino IDE window. That is how Arduino IDE works. Every program you open is opened in a separate window. Now. Notice the messages or notes in gray color. They are all comments and not part of the program. For beginners, don't be scared. You can just erase them. The program parts are only the void setup function and the void loop function. For a quick understanding of what's in the code, the setup function merely configures pin 13 of your Arduino Uno board to be an output. This is where the built-in LED of Arduino Uno board is connected. It's like that we have an LED connected to pin 13. However, Arduino board already provides us such LED on its board attached to pin 13. Hence, we are spared to look for an LED to see the output of our very first program by merely using the built-in LED. The identifier LED underscore built-in is a predefined constant that is set as 13. We can actually replace it with the actual number 13. In short, it is as simple 
as pin mode 13 comma output that sets up the pin 13 to be an output pin instead of an input pin. That is because every pin in Arduino board is flexible and configurable. It can be set as an input pin if you want to connect a switch to it, or an output pin if you want to control a device like the LED. Now for the loop function part. We simply send high signal to pin 13, which is again the LED underscore built in, and that is the command or statement. Digital write 13 comma high. As we continue, delay 1000 simply indicates a pause of 1000 milliseconds or a 1 second delay before proceeding to the next statement. If I want a half of a second delay, then I will have my statement as delay 500. Now, we have digital write LED underscore built in comma low. Low is the opposite of high. So this time, we send off a low signal to the pin, hence, the built-in LED attached to it turns off. High is for on, low is for off. In the context of voltages, high means 5 volts and low means 0 volts. So basically, the body of the loop function contains this algorithm. Turns on the LED, delays for a second, turns off the LED, and delays for another second. Finally, take note that the loop function executes its body repeatedly. Our output will be that the onboard LED of Arduino Uno will blink once every 2 seconds forever, 1 second on and 1 second off. So now, let's upload it. Click the arrow right button, it will compile the program and then we'll upload the program. Now there, you can see that it's done uploading. Let's now see the Arduino board. There, the LED blinks every two seconds. You can actually play with it by changing the delay, say 250 or make the LED turn on longer than off just make sure to upload the program after you modify the code. So now that we know how to upload our codes and programs into our Arduino board, I'll show you here what the Blink program looks like on the Arduino board that's on our mobile here. So to do this, I'll be using the USB cable right here my OTG cord right here, and my phone. I'll be using my phone as the power source for the Arduino board, right? So first I'll connect this, connect this right here on the port, there. Then I'll connect the OTG cable into my phone, like so. There, as you can see, it's lighting up. The LED on the expansion board here is blinking, as well as one on the Arduino board right there. So the expansion board actually has its own built-in LED that's also connected to pin 13. And now that we've seen what it's like on the Arduino board, I'll be showing you also on the Arduino board here. Also using my cable and OTG port. So take this off here. Transfer right there. And using this. You can see it's blinking. It's actually quite small. You can't really see it, but it's right there blinking. So that's quite it for now. Our next video will actually be learning how to 
program or we'll be uploading um, a program into our mobot that will allow our mobot to move, move forward, move backward, spin, turn left and right. So what we'll be needing for our next video or for our next project is to have a lot or at least some batteries. I like to use rechargeable batteries because I think it's more cost effective. I could just recharge the batteries whenever it's drained rather than buying a new set of ones. So that's that's quite it. So with that, see you next time!